My name is Dr. Dale Weber of VEMCO. VEMCO is a company that designs and produces acoustic transmitters and receivers for tracking fish in nature. Today what I'd like to do is show you how to implant tags in fish, so we're going to do some surgery. And I've chosen a lucky specimen, ocean perch or Sebastus marinus. For this surgery demonstration I'm using a dead rockfish purchased from a local market. Here we have our fish on the surgery table. When using live fish, you would use fresh seawater and anesthetic flowing across the gills of the fish. Today I am using a V9-2L Vimco acoustic transmitter which is 9mm diameter and 29mm length. To make the incision, you need to make a cut approximately 1.5 times the diameter of the transmitter. Therefore, I'll make a cut approximately 11 to 15 millimeters length. I'm going to make the incision slightly off center of the midline of the belly so that the fish doesn't irritate the incision when resting on the tank bottom or on the seafloor. The cut will be more or less halfway between the pelvic girdle and anus and into the body cavity. You should try and cut upwards with the scalpel blade so that you don't slip and cut any internal organs. This is a point where you must be very careful that you do not cut too deep. Once you finish, you can now insert the transmitter by gently pushing it through into the body cavity. It should feel very loose such that the tag can slip and slide around. This tells you that the tag will not be putting pressure on the internal organs and the body wall. I prefer to inject some tetracycline and antibiotic into the body cavity and around the incision area. Tetracycline is an antibiotic that stops the bacteria linked to the infection from growing by hindering or disrupting its use of proteins. So now let's close the incision area. There are several types of suture material that people use, for example, cat gut, braided silk and monofilament. For small fish like salmon, small I suggest a suture diameter of 4-0 or 5-0. For larger fish, a 3-0 or 2-0 is a good choice. For this fish, I'm going to use a 3-0 monofilament suture. The number of stitches required is a decision that you have to make based on the size of the incision and the species. For a V9 transmitter, my preference is two simple interrupt stitches, and I use a traditional surgeon's knot technique that most researchers use. The final step is to close the incision, and to do that I first place the blunt end of the sterilized scalpel just inside the incision to allow me to puncture the needle through the skin and subdermal layers. Once through, then I go through the other side from inside to outside and pull the suture through until you are left with approximately 4 to 5 centimeters of suture. To make the closing knot, wrap suture around the end of the needle drivers in a clockwise direction for two turns. Then grab the suture ends and pull with the needle driver hand towards you and your other hand away from you to form the knot. Use the same procedure to form the second knot, but this time pull your hands in the opposite direction and pull tight to form the knot. I like to repeat this step one more time with the third knot to prevent the second knot from coming undone. Snip the suture approximately 5 millimeters from the knot and now you're ready to do the second closing stitch. To do the second stitch, repeat the same procedure that you used for the first one. Be careful not to over tighten the first knot so that you don't cut the tissue, but the knot should be snug so that the knot doesn't loosen. After some practice, you'll be able to do this surgery quickly and your stitching will be very consistent. Finally, I should mention that you should consult with qualified researchers and vets that have considerable experience and the surgical procedures to surgically implant the tag into the fish must be approved by your regulating body that oversees animal care standards. Also, you must make sure that all surgical instruments and materials have been sterilized. Okay, now you're done. Your patient is ready to recover in the holding bath. To transfer the fish over and allow it to recover for the time you think is required for full recovery before release. Thanks very much for watching this demonstration.